Now in this lesson on fractions, we're going to look at addition with different denominators. Let's consider two thirds plus one quarter. Okay, the three and the four on the bottom there, they're the denominators, they're different. So let's do a diagram firstly. The two thirds, let's split up our first hole into thirds, shade two of them, okay? So two thirds shaded in a similar way. Let's break this one up into fours, shade in one of them. So one quarter is shaded. Now we need to add those two parts there, okay? We're going to add them together somehow. Now what we do, the three and the four, because the denominators are different, we need to think what number would three and four both divide into? Well, a number would be 12, okay? Both three and four divide into 12. So we're going to break up each of the shapes into 12 pieces. Now, because they are broken up into 12s, we, we're dealing with 12ths. So we're going to start moving from the right. Let's move it across, okay? Each piece across. And now we can see that once we've added them, we get 11 twelfths, okay? We've got 11 pieces out of 12 shaded. So 11 twelfths is our answer. Now, let's go back to the diagram there. Two thirds plus a quarter. Let's see how we go without a diagram, okay? Let's see if we can do some working out. So two thirds plus a quarter. Again, we talked about what number does three and four both go into. We said 12. So we're going to be dealing with twelfths. So we're going to change each fraction to be over 12. Now our first fraction there, two thirds, the bottom number three, how do we change that to become 12? Well we do by multiplying by four. And if you multiply the bottom by four, we multiply the top by four as well. Our second fraction, which was a quarter, had four as a denominator. So how do we change that four to a 12? We do by timesing by three. Again, if we times the bottom by three, Let's times the top by 3 as well. So we've got 2 times 4, that's 8. And 1 times 3 is 3. So we've changed the fractions. We've changed the 2 thirds and we've rewritten it as 8 twelfths. And you can see from the diagram, yes, 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. And the 1 quarter we changed to be 3 twelfths. And again, our second diagram shows that as well. 1 quarter is exactly the same as 3 twelfths. Now it's easy. If you've got 8 twelfths and you add another 3 twelfths, well, how many twelfths have you got? You've got 11 twelfths. Okay, and 11 twelfths matches up with our answer up the top there just as well. Okay, if it didn't match up, we'd be in real trouble. Okay, let's look at some further examples now. We're asked to find, the first one, 1 third plus 1 half. Okay, the denominators are different, the bottom numbers are different. So let's think 3 and 2. What number would they both divide into? Well, 3 and 2 both go into 6. Okay, and if you get stuck, you can always times them. 3 times 2 is 6. So let's make the first fraction out of 6, plus sign in the middle, and the second fraction will write over 6 as well. So let's consider the first fraction. We've changed the denominator, we've changed the 3 to a 6. We do that by timesing by 2. We times the bottom by 2, let's times the top by 2 as well. Our next fraction, we've changed the denominator, we've changed that too, to become 6. We do that by timesing by 3. So let's do the same to the top as well. So our new numerators, our top numbers become 1 times 2, which is 2, and 1 times 3 is 3. So now, because the denominators are the same, they're talking about, we're talking about 6. We've got 2 sixths plus 3 sixths. How many sixths have we got all together? 5 sixths. Excellent. The next one, one quarter plus three fifths. Again, the denominators are different, so we've got to make them the same. Okay, look for a common denominator. So what number do four and five both go into? They both go into 20. So let's write the first fraction over 20, plus sign in the middle, second fraction over 20 as well. Now, how do we change the four to make it a 20? We times by five. We times the bottom by five, we times the top by five as well. How do we change the 5 to be 20? Well, we times by 4. So let's do the same to the top. So now we have 1 times 5 is 5. We've got 3 times 4 is 12. Now the question is 5 twentieths plus 12 twentieths. Well, how many twentieths have we got? We've got 17 twentieths. Terrific! This next one, one sixth plus three quarters. 
Well, our denominators are different, so we're thinking, what number do 6 and 4 both go into? Well, they both go into 12. So let's make the first fraction over 12, and plus in the middle, second fraction over 12 as well. So looking at our first fraction, 1, 6, how do we change the 6 to a 12? We times by 2. So let's times the top number by 2 as well. How do we change the 4 to a 12? We times by 3. So let's do the same to the top. So we've got 1 times 2, which is 2, and 3 times 3, which is 9. At this point, 2 twelfths plus 9 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. Now, a note before we finish off. Let's look at this same question again. 1 6 plus 3 quarters. But the bottom numbers, 6 and 4, I said they go into 12. Okay, but you might have thought, well, hang on, they go into 24. Well, they do. They do go into 24. So we could write them both over 24, but it's not the smallest number they could go into, okay? So if you did it this way, we still will get the right answer. Let's go through it and see. That's 6 to turn it into 24, we times by 4. So times the top by 4 as well. The 4 to turn it into 24, we times by 6. Do the same to the top. 1 times 4 is 4, and 3 times 6 is 18. So now we've got 4 over 24 plus 18 over 24. When we add that, we get 22 over 24. But if we look at our answer, we could simplify, we could cancel it down. Because I'm looking at it, they're both even numbers. So certainly we could divide the top and the bottom by 2. And 22 divided by 2 is 11. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. So 11 twelfths, we eventually do get the same answer as above. It just took us a little bit longer.